Hello, everybody. The purpose of our video today is to talk about calculations associated with strong acid, strong base titrations. Specifically, the titration in question today is going to be the titration of a 100 milliliter solution of 0 0.500 molar hydrochloric acid with 0 0.200 molar NaOH. And we are going to try to determine several items. First, the volume of NaOH needed to reach the equivalence point. Second, the pH after 50 milliliters of NaOH is added. Third, the pH at the equivalence point. And fourth, the pH after 300 milliliters of NaOH is added. So let's get started. The best way to start any set of titration calculations is to calculate the volume at the equivalence point. So no matter what type of titration you have, that's the best place to begin. The first step in that process is actually writing the acid-base reaction that occurs during the titration. In this case, we have HCl plus NaOH yields NaCl and H2O. Both NaOH and HCl are a strong acid and a strong base, respectively. And it is a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio when the two react. To calculate the volume at the equivalence point, we first need to calculate the moles of HCl that we have. Then we need to figure out, using the mole ratio, the moles of NaOH that are going to have to react with it. And finally, the volume of NaOH. Starting then, with our 100.0 milliliters of HCl. First step, converting that to liters. In one liter, of course, there are 1,000 milliliters. Then we've got to get moles. The molarity of the HCl is 0 0.500 mole HCl per one liter. According to our balanced equation, one mole of NaOH reacts with one mole of HCl. The molarity of the NaOH is 0 0.200 moles per liter. So we have one liter on the top and 0 0.200 mole NaOH on the bottom. And of course, finally, there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. If we punch this into our calculator, the answer the volume of NaOH needed to reach the equivalence point is 250 milliliters of NaOH. So the equivalence point will occur after we have added 250 milliliters of NaOH in this case. The second question we're going to answer is the pH at the equivalence point. And in this case, we'll answer this question right away at the beginning. Because it is a strong acid, strong base titration, the pH at the equivalence point in every strong acid, strong base titration is equal to 7. The equivalence point of every strong acid, strong base titration occurs at pH 7. The next calculation that we want to do is the pH after 50 milliliters of NaOH has been added. To do this, we're once again going to want our equation. HCl plus NaOH gives us NaCl and H2O. Now we're going to make what is called a reaction table, or what I affectionately refer to as our BARF table. The B in BARF stands for beginning moles. So if you multiply the volume and the molarity of the HCl together, you will find out that we start with 0 0.0500 moles 
of HCL, and this does have to be in moles. We do not have any NaOH to begin with, and therefore we do not have any NaCl that has been produced. We don't really need to worry about water, as of course this whole process is taking, care, taking place in aqueous solution. We are going to add the A in our barf table, NaOH. We are not going to add anything else. So you'll notice I'm just drawing dashed lines under all the other compounds. Specifically, at this point, we are going to add 50 milliliters of 0.2 molar NaOH or 0.0100 moles of NaOH. That NaOH is going to react. And because the moles of NaOH are less than the moles of HCl, and because it's a one-to-one -one reaction, at the end, the final number of moles of NaOH is going to be zero, which means that the reactant or reaction amount is going to be for NaOH minus 0 0.0100 moles. Okay, so R stands here for reaction, and F stands for the final amount of moles. We're also going to lose 0 0.0100 moles of HCl. So the final number of moles there, 0 0.0400. And we're going to gain 0 0.0100 moles of NaCl to end up with a final amount of 0 0.100 moles of NaCl. Again, we'll ignore the water because this is all taking place in aqueous solution. You'll notice after our addition of 50 milliliters of NaOH, we have two components that are left after the reaction is completed. We have some HCl and we have some NaCl. HCl is a strong acid, and the only thing here that's going to impact the pH. So if we can calculate the molarity of the HCl, we can take its negative log and get the pH value. To calculate the molarity, we're going to take 0 0.400 moles and divide by the total volume in liters. We started with 100 milliliters of the acid. We've added 50 milliliters of the NaOH for a total of 150 milliliters or 0 0.1500 liters. This equals 0 0.0267 molar HCl. And the pH is the negative log of 0 0.0267 molar, which is equal to 1.5 Seven, three. So after, after 50 milliliters of the NaOH has been added, the pH is 1.573. Finally, we're going to calculate the pH after 100 milliliters, or sorry, after 300 milliliters of NaOH is added. This process is exactly identical to the process we did for the last problem with simply different numbers. So we rewrite our reaction. HCl plus NaCl, NaOH gives us NaCl and, sorry, plus H2O. Again, we're going to make our barf table. Again, we're starting with 0 0.0500 moles of HCl, and we start with nothing of the other reactants or products. We'll again ignore water, so we'll just put some dashes in here. Okay. Um, this time we are going to add 300 milliliters of NaOH. 300 milliliters of 0.2 molar NaOH gives us 0 0.0600 moles of NaOH. And now the HCl is the limiting reactant. It has the smaller number of moles, so the final amount of HCl is going to be zero, 
which means the reactant amount for HCl is minus 0 0.500 moles. Similarly, the reactant amount for NaOH will be minus 0 0.500 moles. And the reactant amount for NaCl will be plus 0 0.500 moles. This means, as a final amount, we'll have 0 HCl. We'll have 0 0.0100 moles of NaOH and 0 0.0500 moles of NaCl. This time, instead of a strong acid, we have a strong base, which is NaOH. If we calculate the molarity of the strong base, we can take the negative log and get the pOH of the solution and then subtract that from 14 to get the pH. Extract that from 14 to get the pH. So 0 0.0100 moles divided by the total volume, 100 milliliters plus 300 milliliters is 400 milliliters or 0 0.4000 liters. Gives you a concentration of 0 0.0250 molar NaOH. The pOH is the negative log of 0 0.0250 molar, which equals 1.602. And the pH is 14 minus 1.602, or 12.0. 12.398. So we now have a basic solution. I hope these uh, calculations for shed a little bit of light on how to treat uh, a strong acid, strong base titration in terms of calculating the pH at various points along the pH titration curve.